Hello, this is Eric at Prince Ford Ford, and we're taking a look at the 2022 Ford Edge in an ST line trim and powered by a 2 liter EcoBoost engine, providing you with excellent power and fuel efficiency with all wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well. But let's take a look inside. First, looking into the back, we have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you, revealing your very spacious cargo area that can always be expanded by folding down the rear seats with these buttons back here. And you have a 12 volt power outlet, and underneath this cover, you have your spare tire with some large extra components compartments for other equipment and this closes again with another simple press of a button. Then looking into the back seat, we have comfortable seating for three with a partial ActiveX and suede interior, fold-out armrests with two cup holders as well as having a 110 volt power outlet with a USB and USB-C. And this vehicle has a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your SUV. Looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat. Now, sitting in the vehicle with it running and looking at the steering wheel on the right hand side, you have your hands free phone and radio controls, as well as your controls for your right screen where you can access your entertainment and phone controls. And on the left, you have your cruise controls, as well as your controls for your left screen where you can cycle through your display, going through your distance to empty, RPMs, RPMs and oil temperature, tire pressures, digital speedometer, and all wheel drive status. Then you have your trip 1 and 2 information, fuel economy, driver assistance features and settings, and settings in general for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. Uh, then moving further to the left, you have your lane keeping system on the end of your signal stock as well as your hatch release and traction control shut off. Moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio series and Bluetooth capable with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as some games that are pre-installed that you can play while you're sitting and waiting, obviously not while you're driving. In the top left, you have your further vehicle settings or screen settings um, and shifting into reverse. You do have a backup camera so you can see where you're going. Moving down, you have your climate controls here with dual zone front climate, heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. Moving down from that, you have your physical media controls with your hazards, max defrost, and your camera view again. And then down here, you have this cubby with a wireless charging pad, so if your phone's compatible, throw it on there to charge. And then you also have a USB and USB-C. Behind that, in this tray area, uh, you have this tray area, and then in the passenger leg area, you have a 12 volt power outlet. Then looking at your shifter, which is on a dial, and you also have paddle shifters on the steering wheel, so you can manually shift through your gears. And you have your parking brake, two cup holders, slot for your phone, auto start stop shut off, another slot here, and then your center compartment slash armrest with a removable tray and a ton of room inside. And then last but not least, you do have a panoramic moonroof up top so you can land the sunshine. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, come visit us at Prince George Ford, pgford.ca, or call 250-563-8111 and have a nice day.